Welcome to the 2011 year-end review for Palmetto Trace in Panama City Beach, Florida. In this short video, I will give you an overview of the real estate activity for 2011, update you on current properties for sale, and talk a little bit about what we might expect for 2012. To understand where the market might be going, let's take a look at what happened last year. There were 25 total properties sold in Palmetto Trace last year. Eight townhomes were sold at an average of $104 a square foot, while 17 detached single-family homes were sold at an average of $113 a square foot. While these prices are a little soft, remember, these are only averages. In fact, as of today, there are only six townhomes for sale and seven detached single-family homes for sale in the entire subdivision, with asking prices starting at $110 a square foot for the townhomes and averaging $130 a square foot for the detached single-family homes. This positive uptick in pricing could be looked at as a sign of stabilization. 2011 saw a large number of short sales and foreclosures in Palmetto Trace, which pulled pricing down dramatically. As of now, only two properties on the market are short sales, and there are no bank-owned properties currently for sale. I work with plenty of people that are either ready to buy or sell in Palmetto Trace, but wanted to let you know that I work with even more who are simply considering a real estate transaction. What most people don't realize is that I can help you with more than just buying or selling. I can work with you through the decision-making process and help you evaluate your options by really analyzing your specific situation and talking with you about your goals. This starts with really looking at the numbers. When was the last time your real estate professional helped you look at your net operating income or before and after tax cash flow when you were buying real estate? Or when has someone sat down with you and really looked at your current cash flow situation to help you decide whether to sell or to hold? I can do both. By working extensively with spreadsheets, charts, and graphs, I can help you really get to the bottom line of what it means to buy, hold, or sell and ultimately help you make a more sound decision. I anticipate the 2012 stacks up to be more of the same for a number of reasons. It is an election year and I don't expect any major changes with financing policies. Financing remains challenging for home buyers, mainly because appraisals are running generally conservative. However, if there is good financing available, it is for those buyers seeking to own a primary residence, which should mean the buyers will still be looking in Palmetto Trace for a home. Almost every expert agrees that while foreclosures and delinquencies will be on the decline, more actual bank REO or foreclosure inventory is going to come to the market. With more and more bank inventory being processed, the only pressure that prices can feel is a pull down. I don't expect it to be dramatic, but depreciation is depreciation after all. Palmetto Trace is showing some signs of stability, which may mean that it is not as effective as some of the other areas on the beach. But what is quite likely is that prices will not really have an opportunity to go dramatically higher in 2012. What I do think will help those who are selling in 2012 is some of the recent construction announcements in the area. People are already like Palmetto Trace because of the proximity to Frank Brown Park and Pier Park. With the addition of Walmart and Pier Park North, more interest is going to be focused in the area which can help the selling process. Recently I have helped buyers and sellers on nine transactions in Palmetto Trace, including David Weekly Homes, some good friends, and even my parents. They love the neighborhood as much as I do and I spend a lot of time there with my wife and two children. The new year is always a great time to look back and forward at the same time. I hope that this has helped you learn a little more about Palmetto Trace and look forward to helping you in the future. I wish you all the best in 2012.